This is 111 Safford Street in Bennington, Vermont. When you come to check out this house in person, you're gonna enter through the back door and you'll come immediately into this three season back porch. It's surrounded by windows, has lots of natural light. And then you'll come directly into this very spacious kitchen. There's updated lighting. You can see brand new appliances. I will likely be taking off all of the blue film and the tape uh, prior to the photo shoot, but I wanted to show you here in this video that they are brand new. Also a brand new vinyl plank floor through the kitchen. It has this large corner over here where if you wanted to put in a table and chairs for casual dining, add more cabinetry, or if you are like me and you love having an island in your kitchen, especially one that you can sit at, there's lots of room to put an island in here to give you more prep space and entertaining. Original cabinets, uh, and then you also have a Formica countertop. So these are a nice solid wood. There's a little beveled edge here, if you can just see that little detail. And then there's the nice hardware. There's a new faucet here on the double sink. And this looks out to that porch. There's a detached two car garage, small backyard, and there is a huge detached workshop as well. So check out my separate videos for those spaces. So from the kitchen, we're gonna flow directly into the formal dining room. So this does have a chandelier. If you can get a little closer here, you'll see the details on this light fixture. It does have a little crystal light toggle to turn that on and off. And lots of natural light. We're on the south side of the house here. Gorgeous hardwood floors. They have just been refinished. Look how beautiful these are. I also really appreciate that there's original woodwork in this house. So this trim around the windows and doors has not been painted. Notice that you have not one, but two sets of French doors the French doors here that divide the dining from the living, and then also a triple door. This one actually has two. Let me show you how these are going to open up to block off the foyer, if you so choose. Really spectacular, original details, beautifully preserved for the next generation. So in the living room, again, on the south side, so lots of natural light flows through here. Also from the living room and the dining room, we have the view out to the river. So there's water adjacent on this property we are right by the local so that is the blue building there on the corner of maine and safford awesome little coffee shop i'll give you your bearings as to where you are and then if you were to head north out of here on safford street you are just a block away from the bennington recreation center so the rec center is down Coolidge, right there. There is a large covered porch out front. There's steps down to the sidewalk. This is the foyer. It also has an old fashioned light fixture. They call those a Tiffany light. And there's another here in the living room which has a fan as well as the overhead light so really beautiful spacious public rooms here on the first floor there is also a powder room so i just did a full circle it's labeled so you know it's not a closet 
very charming. Again, there's an older light fixture in here. Fun detail, I've actually never seen a medicine cabinet that is on a slider like this. Instead of it opening up, it slides open. So cool details with these shelving brackets, little pedestal sink. The new floor from the kitchen also flows here through the bathroom. So there's a new sink, new toilet. The door to the basement is directly across from the powder room. So I will show you that in a separate video. And then lastly here in the foyer, which does also have a door, I'll point out if you wanted to close off the kitchen so you don't see it directly from the front door. This is a spacious closet. So you've got a coat closet right here in the foyer and there's also a built-in mirror. So you can check yourself out before you walk out the door. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's check out, there's four bedrooms and a full bathroom. This is a beautiful wide staircase. They've refinished the wood to the best of its ability to be refinished. There was carpet on here. So just showing you these classic details. I mean, nice railing. And the hardwood floors just keep on going through the entire upstairs. I'm gonna turn to my right. So I'm heading towards the front of the house. So we're looking back out to Safford Street. Here, there's a view of Mount Anthony. There's a corrugated metal roof on the front part of the porch here, and there's a slate roof on the house. So this is probably the smallest bedroom. There is a closet here, a couple of shelves, hanging bar. This room also has the attic. So bear with me. I gotta slip off my shoes so my feet stay clean. Here we go. Obviously it's much colder up here because the door is well insulated so it does its job of keeping all the cold out. But I love a walk-up attic. This is so special. You do not get this in a lot of homes. So there's a little window there that looks back out towards the front. There is the chimney for the boiler. You can see all the insulation here with the baffles and all kinds of good dry storage space. There's even a light in here. Okay, let's pop back down. You can see the insulation, as I mentioned, on the back of the door. All right, that was bedroom number one with the attic. The other bedroom in the front of the house, bedroom number two, Best view of the mountain right there, holy. You can also see a church steeple for the Baptist church. Another view of the front porch roof. There's no overhead lighting in the upstairs bedrooms, but again, you've got the original uh, hardwood floors that have been beautifully refinished. The original woodwork, not painted. The windows are older, probably the original single pane windows. Uh, they do have storms on them. I don't think you can really catch that in the video, but this is the inside window, it's just dirty. Uh, there is also a storm window on the outside. I can't swear that every window has one. Like for example, this one here does not have one. No storm here, but there is a storm on that one, okay? So you might want to budget for replacing windows over time. Closet in this front bedroom actually has a double hanging bar and there's also a light in this closet, which is actually connected to the switch. All right, let's stop here at the top of the stairs. We've got the staircase right there. The bathroom is directly across from the top of the stairs. This is the one full bathroom in the house. 
They have painted the vanity. There's wainscoting on the walls, a tile floor, new toilet. There's some custom shelving around the drain pipes. Those are actually probably more of a vent pipe. There is a window here also looking out to the river. There's a little radiator tucked in the corner behind the tub shower. So you do have a almond bisque colored uh, tub. It is very low, very easy to step over. This is an older, you know, solid model here. And then there is a surround and a matching kind of tan color shower head, bath tub valves. And then there is the vanity. It does have storage. Okay. And a large mirror with a light. Okay, two more bedrooms in the back. I'm gonna go to my right. So this is the one right next to the bathroom. We are on the south eastern corner here. So we're back looking at the river. Good view of the workshop from here. There is a three-story workshop with this property. I'll tell you more about that in a separate video. So again, the same hardwood floors, radiator, closet. I love the old details like this. You just don't get old hardware like that anymore. Another simple closet. The floor goes throughout. There is a linen closet here in the hallway on a diagonal, so you can fit some bedding and some towels in here. And then the fourth and final bedroom We're on the northeast corner here. Again, there's a good sized closet with some shelves and a hanging bar. Good size bedrooms. And from here, you'll get a look at the garage. And then there's a standing seam roof across the back porch. Uh, both of these structures, um, the house and the garage, have a slate roof that's all been repaired. Whatever was needed to be done has been done. And then on the workshop, there's actually a brand new uh, architectural shingle roof. So that is everything for the inside of the finished living space. Check out my basement and exterior videos next.